welcome to British Ants. We're going to be reviewing our colony of half a million Atacephaloides, which are leaf cutters. Uh, here they are in their feeding chamber, which is an open, round, cylindrical container. We use anti-slip to stop them getting out. That's the only open container that we have. Uh, that's linked with a tube that goes down to the nests. Uh, we're about to throw some uh, almond flakes in there. Uh, we give them quite a varied diet. Uh, it doesn't take them long, so they've just gone in. And within about 20-25 seconds, they'll start taking those down the hole to the fungus. Um, we'll speed this up slightly, so uh, you can see what uh, what they get up to. You'll notice the soldiers milling about, they don't really do a lot. Unless you put your hand in there, then they kind of go into overtime. That's their job, basically, to patrol. Um, you'll see them in the nest a bit later. Uh, they kind of sit around in little mother's meetings. Um, it almost looks like they're chatting. They surround, um, sit in a kind of circle, and it's very bizarre, but um, quite fascinating to watch. So here we are. First one's got some almond, and he's down, or she's down, because uh, they're all female in this nest. There's not a single male. So there's a lot of ladies in there. So here we are. The food in there is savoy cabbage, a cuba japonica, almond leaves, a bit of grape. There's a bit of apple in the back there as well, they like that. You see the soldiers milling about. So as we head down to the nest, this is a new garden that they've just started building. Uh, this is about a week old um, and they've been growing quite rapidly on this. And moving down from there, you can see that they're uh, taking the almond down to the other parts of the garden. Uh, these are glass tanks, 20 centimetre square with glass lids. Uh, they are vented, they've got a 20 millimetre vent in the top of them. Uh, to uh, allow the carbon dioxide to escape. The fungus itself, um, to touch, is really soft. It's like a very good quality light sponge, very soft on the skin, it's lovely. and has a, a kind of a sweet smell when it's fresh. Um, I get asked quite a lot what it, what it feels like. It's very soft, um, although to touch that, you'd end up in quite a lot of pain. There's a lot of soldiers in there. Um, they tend to kind of stay out of the way until they're required for defence reasons. But you'll see in the top right hand there, chopping the cuba up and actually taking it inside to build this kind of honeycomb structure. And uh, for every ant you can see in that nest, there's usually about 50 more that you can't see. Because if you were to open that sponge up, it's uh, packed with ants. And there on the right you'll see the uh, mother's meetings with the... Uh, the female soldiers. Uh, the ants running up and down the glass are taking the moisture off the glass. Um, they use to uh, macerate the vegetation and turn it into fungus. So panned out a bit, you can see here you've got the tube going up to the feeding garden um, or the, the feeding area and the new uh, fungus gardens they've created this week. Uh, the tube that goes down leads to the waste disposal. Uh, off to the right we've got two gardens, one's in view on the right, and there's another one that leads off that, that's slightly larger. The queen's in one of those. Uh, I haven't seen the queen for three years. But she's in there somewhere. Uh, this is where we think the queen is, because there's a lot more soldiers. You'll see there's a huge pile of soldiers on the left and the right, and at the back, so this is quite heavily defended, this fungus garden. They will uh, oscillate between all the gardens, so you will see the soldiers move around. But uh, the, they do tend to hang out in this one quite a lot, so it does indicate that this will be the one that the queen's in. This is very healthy fungus. Um, and the fungus that's dead, this is where it goes, along with any plant matter. Uh, and dead workers, and they'll turn this over. Um, you can this well, this is constantly moving um, this chamber, so they're kind of making sure it decomposes. Uh, anyway, 
if you like the videos, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we've got a current competition on with our previous video uh, where you can win a free formicarium. So don't forget to, to subscribe. If you've got any questions, pop them down below and we'll try and answer as soon as we can. Thank you.